10th MJB. Welcome. Pambajira is very powerful. Her manifestations are instantaneous. Some call her a whore, slut, prostitute, or devil woman. For others, she is a goddess of love, sex, success, and abundance. Pambajira is the Scarlet Woman, the Sacred Harlot, and the Lady of Crossroads and Street Lights. An Afro-Brazilian spirit, Pambajira derives from the intersection of Iberian, Gitano, and Central African roots. Pambajira is the crossroad where these traditions meet. She is a goddess of power, eroticism, death, and vengeance. She has dominion over sex for pleasure and power, not procreation. She can bestow fertility when and if she desires. Pambajira is an oracular spirit who can reveal the past and future, but she can be a brutally plain-spoken truth-teller. Don't ask her for information unless you are ready to hear unvarnished truths. Pambajira's origins are mysterious. She is not worshipped in African traditions, only in Brazil. It is possible that devotees did not survive elsewhere. Pambajira is sometimes translated as whirling dove, which is not inappropriate as many Pambaguras love to dance. Sometimes when people refer to Pambajira they really mean Maria Padilla or vice versa. The names are frequently used interchangeably but there are many Pambaguras. These may be multiple paths of one goddess or Pambajira may name an entire category of spirits like Mami Waters, Simbi, etc. The names Pambajira and Ekshua are also sometimes used interchangeably. As Ekshua, Pambajira is identified as the wife of the Brazilian Alegbara. Depending on her path, Pambajira may be hot and passionate or cold and calculating. Some paths of Pambajira are associated with vampires. Pambajira is an ally of women. She bestows fertility but is also invoked to cause a miscarriage when pregnancy is inconvenient or disastrous. She likes women, crossdressers, sex workers, transvestites. Most dress in red to summon her. Pambajira sometimes manifests as a drag queen. She may be depicted as a red she-devil complete with pitchfork, horns, and cloven hoof or as a beautiful, scantily clad woman. Color. Red. Time to consult her should be at midnight. Places to summon her are Pambajira haunts crossroads, street corners, and nightclubs. Some paths of Pambajira display fondness for seashores. Also, corners of your home. Offerings. Perfume, cosmetics, roses, alcoholic beverages, tobacco products. She was a woman who loved with all her heart and soul and dropped a lot of tears. I talk to her with love, respect and I humble myself because I believe that she will bring me back the one I love. I thank her ahead of time because I know that Pambajira Maria Padilla hears my prayers. Now let's get down to the practical aspect of this video. I called on Pambajira to help me reunite with my love. I used Penny Divination to ask her what she wanted me to offer her. After I gave her my offering, I recited the incantation. I didn't have a candle so I just started with penny divination and asking if Pambajira Maria Padilla would be willing to work with me. She said yes. After many yes no questions I found out that she wanted me to give her red lipstick, red nail polish, a bracelet and dark chocolate. I went to the store and bought all those things for her. Again using penny magic I asked if this offering was sufficient to get her to help me and she said yes. She also told me where to leave my offerings for her. So I just said the incantation out loud in a very firm voice. That was it. The next morning I woke up and thanked her profusely because I knew it was done. I was the one who initiated contact with my partner yesterday but I know he was so friendly and willing to go out with me next month because she softened his heart for me. Make sure you give her offerings before making your request and also after she helps you. I promised to give her an offering of perfume after seeing a sign that my ex is coming back to me. I bought brand new perfume just for her today but guess what? 
Using penny divination she told me she doesn't like it. We agreed that I would give her an offering of mango scented lotion instead. I guess the main thing I would advise is just to talk with her, instead of just commanding her to do things. She has her own desires so you have to determine what it is that she wants from you in order for her to help you. It's like any business agreement. There are some incantations in order to evoke her. The way is build an offering. She likes red rose, cheap champagne, cigarettes, lipsticks, mirrors, some good food, perfume, stuff like that. Make a beautiful arrangement for your offering, bring to your altar, turn on a red or a black and red candle. Make your prayer, or whatever you want to, in order to connect with the spiritual world. Only by meditation, you can do this. Another way is this. You need to go forward, and call her by saying this, nine times. Maria Padilla, I need you. Maria Padilla, I need you. Let's play hopscotch. If I lose, I'm yours. If I win, you're mine. There are spirits of dead children that are very wise and like to help but have child's mind. Some people use them in order to warm an entity heart. Maria Padilla died by love, wanted to be a mother, and that's why people use hopscotch on this part of incantation, it's to catch the attention of her. Don't worry, you don't need to really play hopscotch. After that, you probably will sense her presence but keep going and say that. O oh Queen Maria Padilla, which acts in the light and love of our Divine Creator, I ask you to help me with your divine energies and radiations. Exhausting in us all the vices that make our soul, our spirit and our body sick. Let me not be tormented and vampirized by any distorted desire. May the Queen balance my emotional, awakening in me the wills of our Divine Creator. I also ask, Lady Pombajira, show us the best way to love, respect and help myself and my similar, so my inner self may be reformed. And may the Queen take to the depths of the sacred sea all my pains, afflictions, and torments, strengthening my desire for life. And together with Mother Nana, may the Queen cure all the sicknesses in my spirit, in my body. With our Divine Holy Sarah and the Gypsy people, may the Queen cut, dismantle, and break all the negative actions sent to me so that, free and happy, I can follow my path. And fulfill my mission with your Divine Shelter. Be with me in this moment, my queen, and lend me your help. Maria Padilla doesn't work against any will. If you want to have back a girlfriend, for example, she will make your way only if she thinks that'll be good for you. She will soften someone's heart, giving you the forgiveness you need in order to get her back. But she won't force love on people. If your ex-girlfriend has a little love for you, it's fine, she can help you by bringing that forgiveness and growing that love to the point that you can make your way back. You'll need to put effort on this to work. Give her the necessary space for her to work, don't talk with your lady for, at least, 21 days. After that, ask for wisdom on making your way in. Pay attention to coincidences and dreams, she talks trough that. And, with your effort and her help, you'll accomplish the desired outcome. But if there is no love anymore, don't even try. You'll be wasting your time. Ask for a new love instead and that'll work for sure. That's an example the most common I see, but you can call on her just to raise your self-esteem, or to give you a sexual aura, and make you look beautiful in front of people, or just to help you in magical defense. There's a lot of use of this entity, and that's why she is so loved by people. Give her proper time. She can work fast, but probably she won't because she likes to make it perfect. So give her time, please. And also build a relationship with her. Call her eventually one time per month because she likes to be prayed. Literally, she likes devotion, so be devoted and surely you'll be helped whenever you need. Hope this video helps. Bye. Please like, comment and subscribe.